Now, I'm not knocking John Schuyler. I'm not knocking him at all because he is good. John Schuyler has been a lot of places. John Schuyler regularly works, regularly practices his craft, and is a good guy, better than most. I know he's good in the ring. I know he likes to trample the weak, and he's a southern savior, and blah, 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 blah. All right? I don't really like it when he runs his mouth. But I would humbly submit to you that John Schuyler cannot, will not, could never kick my ass. John Schuyler, it's not personal, but it will be. Because when I get in that ring, it's personal with everybody. John Schuyler, when I look at you, I definitely don't see a big man. I don't see your years of hard work. I don't see that. What I see are some little bitty forearms that don't grip very hard. And I see the ability to snap them one good time, John. I see the ability to grab your ankle and pick it up and tear your ACL tendon, John. <laughs> it's not that hard for me to manipulate you like you're just a little toy. Now, John Schuyler, I know you think you're doing us a big favor coming down the Trans South Wrestling coming down to Gaffney. You think you're doing us a big favor because you're a big star. You think you're a notch above me. But I got news for you, John Schuyler. You're coming to Trans South Wrestling so that I can beat you like Patton for a dance, so I can make you tap out. You should call Steve Carino and ask him how his shoulder's feeling this week. Because I tapped him out last week. And John, I don't want you to think I'm going to do it because I enjoy hurting you. It's not that. I'm going to do it because I like to take someone who thinks they're a real bad apple. And I like to take them down a notch, John. And you've got a lot to learn about humility. And I'm going to teach you that painful lesson this Saturday in Gaffney, South Carolina. 